And away from the World Cup, tennis now and seven times champion. Serena Williams has moved up a gear to beat Bulgarian qualifier Victoria Tomova 6-1, 6-4 and reached the third round. The 36-year-old American barely broke sweat in a one-sided first set, but was tested by the world number 135 in the second without ever looking trouble before completing victory in 66 minutes. Serena back in swinging form. We close on sources for tonight. I'm Barum, Tony Iranta, and Gimba will be back with the wrap. Stories outside of Nigeria now as part of operations to rescue the Thailand footballers and their coach. Dive lessons have begun as rescuers try to help them escape from the cave. A new video released of the 12 boys and their football coach trapped reaffirms that they are in good health. They were found after nine days deep in the cave, trapped by rising waters and have since received food and some form of medical treatment. The concern is that the rainy season has only just begun, so water levels in the Tham Luang cave will almost certainly continue to rise. It may be deja vu all over again for the British government as it records another case of substance poisoning near the English city where former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter were poisoned. Local newspaper reports that a man and a woman had been poisoned and were showing symptoms similar to those displayed by the Chris Skripals who were victims of a nerve agent attack in March. In this case, the pair, both in their 40s, have been hospitalised and are in critical condition after they were found unconscious on Saturday in Amsbury, seven miles north of Salisbury, where the Skripals were found slumped unconscious on a beach on the 4th of March. The hospital in which the new pair are being treated is the same in which the Skripals spent weeks in critical condition before slowly recovering and being discharged. And the main news again. Tonight, some aggrieved members of the ruling All Progressives Congress today formed a new faction of the party called Reformed All Progressives Congress, RAPC. The faction emerged at a meeting in Abuja where the members accused the APC of failing to deliver good governance. Also today, federal lawmakers rejected the federal government's decision to share recovered $322 million about a loot to poor families without National Assembly's approval. And French President Emmanuel Macron today met with the business community in Lagos. Mr. Macron, who also spoke at the Tony Lumelu Foundation Forum, challenged African entrepreneurs to harness the potentials of the youth population. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us here, have a splendid night. Good night.